Alright, so this time we're going to be integrating things of the form the integral of ax plus b to the power of n. This is sometimes called the reverse chain rule. It's not really the reverse chain rule, kind of is, uh, but it will feel a lot like the reverse chain rule, so it's probably a good way to think about it. Alright, so I'm just going to give you the formula straight up and then we'll apply it to a couple of questions. Here's our formula, the integral of ax plus b to the power of n with respect to x is equal to 1 over a times n plus 1 times ax plus b to the power of n. Let's look at it in practice because that's a bit confusing. Alright, this is going to be equal to 1 over a, a, a times uh, n plus 1 n plus 1, so times 6, and then we multiply that by ax plus b, 3x plus 1, to the power of n plus 1. Okay, um, so then we get like 1 over 18, uh, 3x plus 1 to the power of 6. An alternative way to write that uh, would be 3x plus 1 to the power of 6 over 18. Now don't forget, plus c, plus c, plus c. Okay, uh, I'm going to do another one here really fast, uh, but I'm going to make it feel a little more chain really, so you understand what I'm doing there. So the integral of 4x plus 3 to the power of 7 is going to be equal to 1 over this number here times this power plus 1. Then this bracket, 4x plus 3, to the power of this power plus 1. We end up with 1, 32, 1 over 32, 4x plus 3, to the power of 8. Alright, so it's pretty procedural, it should be pretty straightforward. Um, I'm just going to do one more, just so we can look at a few little key components. So it's the integral of 5 over 3x plus 2 to the power of 4 with respect to x. I cannot deal with something on the bottom of a fraction, so if I brought it to the top, my life would be much, much easier. Uh, 3x plus 2 to the power of negative 4. I haven't integrated it yet, so still integral with respect to x. Um, now, look at this. This is 5 times ax plus b to the power of negative 4. My formula has an ax plus b to the n, but it doesn't have this guy here. But that's okay, because from our little bit of theory, you should know that we can move this over here like that. So we can say 5 times the integral of 3x plus 2 to the negative 4 with respect to x. And now we can use our formula. So now that's going to be 5 times 1 over a times to the power of negative 4 plus 1, which is negative 3, times 3x plus 2 to the power of negative 4 plus 1, negative 3. That's going to be uh, 5 over negative 9 bracket 3x plus 2 to the negative 2. And if I want to write it in a different way without a negative power, 5 over negative 9 bracket 3x plus 2 squared. Uh, okay, that's the integral of ax plus b to the n. One last thing I want to say about this. n can be anything except negative 1. Now, you should probably think for a minute, why wouldn't negative 1 be a good value for n? Why won't it give me answers that look like this? Why can't I use that formula? The next video will explain why. Well, we sure did have a lot of fun today, but you know what's not fun? Forgetting your plus c. I suffer from a serious affliction. When I integrate, I forget plus c. Please, let my mistakes be a lesson to you. Don't forget plus C when you integrate. This has been a public service message. I'm Mr. Speranza.